Um, it's November 16th, 2016. I wanted to uh, make a video of uh, how the uh, bogey suspension works on the large coaster, the smog, the terrible coaster eight wheel cart, the, the larger cart. And make a video about how the mechanisms work so that it can slide easy on the on the track. And uh, I've just started to paint it. I pulled it all apart and put uh, better bearings everywhere. And I put a, a, a right here a compression bearing. Take a little, uh, be a little more efficient, a little quieter and stuff. I had pretty loose bearings in the side wheels last time around and uh, I put uh, ABEX 7 pretty good bearings in there. And I have ABEX 9 bearings in the main wheels. So, as you can see, is this, and the, we'll cover the back end first. The back end, all the all of the, the wheel trucks, the green things, have uh, pitch freedom. So they can pitch this way and conform to the track. Uh, you can see this uh, aft crossbar where it connects to the frame. That has yaw this direction freedom. But... Uh, on the back end of the cart, I can react the overturning roll moments, which would go in this direction. That's roll. I can still react those through these bearings in these slotted channels. And uh, so that's the back end. You can see as it comes around this kind of a little S bend here, how that will turn, will yaw and still uh, be pretty smooth. The front end has another degree of freedom. This is the front end. It has the same trucks with the pitch degree of freedom. And then it has um, yaw degree of freedom. And it also has roll degree of freedom. So overturning roll moments can't be reacted through the front. They can only re be reacted in the back. But that's okay because most of the weight is in the back. And the front end, like any roller coaster, the front steering has uh, at least one extra degree of freedom so that it can conform to the track. In a real roller coaster, the carts, the carts just hang off the, the cart in front of it. So once you get the front cart correct, at least for most steel roller coasters, um, you just hang the, the second cart off the back of this and you only have to worry about one set of wheels in the back of the second cart. And, and those behind that. So this thing uh, with the tighter bearings all uh, painted up. I painted it so that you could it'd be a little easier to see the moving parts and how much trouble I went to to design this. I went through a lot of design iterations to get to this point. Um, so I painted it different colors so it's easy to see how these things how the mechanism reacts. And you can tell it's Pretty smooth. Need to grease some things up and uh, it'll roll a little better. Uh, I'll get the seat put back on it, the safety belts, and uh, next time the grandkids are over, we'll see. It is a lot quieter with the, the better bearings. For those of you who always wonder what all these tracks are doing all over my yard, this black track it starts up on my deck there, comes down, goes up this steep uh, end here. We call that the negative G. That's the first track I made. Uh, it can't go off the top there. So it starts up on the deck and comes down. The second track that the uh, cart is on is called the Smog the Terrible. It goes up about eight and a half feet, comes down. It's fairly well designed. It was the second one I made and goes around in kind of a, a double eight pattern. Over, under, goes over through the trees, under, around. And it's going pretty slow when it hits here. And then it uh, dives under the, 
negative G-track and it's going pretty slow there so can't get hurt. There's plenty of clearance here. Uh, there's 42 inches of clearance on this uh, underpass here. It probably is pretty terrifying seeing that come at you but um, there is seems to be plenty of clearance. These pipes on this rock are uh, sun conditioning. I know that's maybe not so smart in Seattle but we know that PVC pipe embrittles in sunlight. I never use the white PVC because it but the uh, gray conduit schedule 40 PVC has sunlight resi resistance written on it because it sticks out of roofs and is on the side of buildings for uh, for conduit and my solution is to just paint soon after I form the pipes with hot sand internally I uh, I'm just gonna paint them from here on out and I think that uh, will provide a lot of ultraviolet um, resistance to impact failures later on. Um, I have done some impact testing and I'm just kind of conditioning these for a year or two outside to see how much fracture toughness the uh, PVC loses over time. I've done some testing there. I have an I made an impact tester in my garage. So over here is the third coaster that I made. We call it the Little Rocket and you can see it on other videos. I built this, it's different because I didn't build it in place. I built it in sections in my garage and then hauled, it, hauled each section out here. So it is much, uh, it's, and I, it's much better engineered than the other two. I uh, have more younger grandchildren than older ones. The oldest one's nine. And I uh, have six all together and the little ones were too scared to ride on the first two roller coasters. So I really made this little rocket roller coaster to uh, accommodate the little kids. And you can see in my other videos. So this is my backyard. And it feels kind of weird sometimes. <laughs>